Herman's Holiday by Tom Percival. There's a lot of interesting things on this page. What can you see? I can see pens and pencils, maps, a list, postcards and brochures. The day was warm and smelled of summer. Herman and Henry were busy planning their holidays. There were so many exciting places to go. But all the best places cost so much money. Far too much for Herman and Henry. It was looking like they'd be staying at home this year and Henry didn't like that one little bit. Herman hated to see his best friend upset. So he set out to find a holiday they could afford. The sign on the donkey reads, Cheap camping trips plus a free donkey ride to your destination. A short while later, Herman had everything they could possibly need for a fun-packed break. He was so excited. After all, everybody loves camping. Well, maybe not everybody. Still, it was all booked now. By lunchtime, they had each packed a few essentials and were ready to go. Can you predict what's in Henry's huge bag? Wow, have a look at all the things in Henry's bag. As they set off, Herman felt ready for anything. Henry, on the other hand, just felt like going home. Within five minutes of arriving at the campsite, Herman's tent was up and the marshmallows were toasting. But Henry did not find camping quite so easy. That night, Henry didn't sleep very well. He just couldn't get comfy, to be perfectly honest. He was a teeny bit scared. Woot! And that was before his tent collapsed. The next morning, Herman took Henry into town to buy some postcards. But they each wrote very different things. Dear Uncle Harold, we're having an amazing time camping. Henry's really getting into the swing of it. He even went for a swim last night. What fun! Lots of love, Herman. Dear Aunt Winifred, have you ever been camping? Well, if you haven't, don't. It's awful. I'm cold, soaking wet and bored. Love, Henry. P.S. Please can you post me some hot chocolate? I forgot to bring any. Henry tried to enjoy his holiday but nothing seemed to be working out for him. Herman got the impression that his friend wasn't having a particularly great time. So the next day, Herman didn't just write one postcard. He wrote loads. I wonder who he wrote to. Dear Henry's Aunt Winifred, Thanks for the hot chocolate. Henry made me a cup. It's delicious. Please, could you send us a sofa too? Best wishes, Herman. Dear Reuben, how's it going? Please, could you pop round to mine and post me a few bits and pieces? Maybe some rope, a spade, a drill, a hammer, lots of nails, a saw and some paint. Thanks, Herman. Dear Felix, Please make sure Reuben doesn't forget to post the things that I've asked him for. You know what he's like. Thanks, Herman. P.S. Could you get him to send my TV too? 
Before long, strange packages began to arrive for Herman. It was all very mysterious. I wonder what he's planning. Can you predict? That night, Herman waited until his friend fell asleep. And he put his plan into action. By the time the sun rose, the campsite had been transformed. Henry couldn't believe his eyes. Wow! Hotel Henry. The two friends spent the rest of their time doing all the things that make a great holiday. Everything was just perfect. Dear Herman, thank you for making my camping holiday so fantastic. I've had the best time ever. Same place next year? Your best friend, Henry. I love camping. But despite everything that he had built, Herman refused to abandon his tent. After all, this was a camping holiday. Good night. Good night.